Back in 1916, there were over 400 different film formats that were commercially being distributed. There was no compatibility. The society was formed in those days in order to solve that problem, and it's continued to solve similar problems for almost 100 years now. There's many different engineering expertises in the modern digital age. Those range from computer science, network technology, computer graphics. But when it comes down to how to make good television and motion pictures, it really relies on a very specific set of knowledge covering many other topics, such as image processing, compression, metadata, and these things. That's where SIMTI has the expertise. This is a revolution on the one hand, on the consumer side. On the other hand, we have, first of all, the constraints of production efficiency. So to produce more content, faster, but also with higher quality. The advances in technology and the advances in all the places where image and audio are reaching in our society now is just astronomical. We've got so many things that are changing in this area in terms of distribution through many different channels, many different formats. Uh, the, uh, the acquisition of content is so much different than it ever was before. And SIMPTI is the one organization that can bring this all together on a global basis and make it simpler for all of us to implement. Without SIMPTI there'd be a lot of chaos and uh, we bring order to this really um, technically challenging field. We're about membership, standards and education. Today we are producing uh, standards in all sorts of new ways to tackle all the new media and in the last 12 months we produced 50 new standards. At the end of the day, it's all about story, and all the engineering is, needs to be not seen and behind the scenes. And through this organization, the engineers from all different studios and all different manufacturers come together to make sure that the technology works and that those tools can then be provided to the creative so that they can get their vision to the screen. Over the years, I've had a chance to work with filmmakers like Francis Coppola and George Lucas, and almost without exception, they are experimenters, and they like to push the boundaries of technology. And because of that, they need engineering support. And an engineer with imagination and the flexibility to try something new and work it out. We're seeing higher resolution, wider color gamuts, higher dynamic range in, in imaging. A number of these items are coming together both in the television world uh, and the film world. Right at this moment, worldwide, changeover from film to digital is 60% of all the world's theaters. About 10 or 12 years, I mean, that's, a, that's an astonishing period of time for a complete changeover of a technology. SMPTE has just done a fantastic job in helping make digital cinema happen. You know, we we're all frustrated by the fact that it probably took five years longer than it should because it was so many issues between studios and exhibitors. But if we didn't have standards and we didn't have SMPTE there connecting the dots between the research, the standards, technology, and business success, it never would have happened. SIMTI will be completing 100 years in 2016. For any organization to exist for 100 years is not easy. Unless you're doing something really good, you cannot exist for 100 years.